my next video and my module that I'm doing on the trig identities, okay? And so we're going to focus in this video on what we call the ratio identities. In the previous video, was reciprocal identities. This one will talk about the ratio identities. And these are very, very common, but I want to start by pointing out that there are two of them. There's one for tangent of an angle theta and one for the cotangent of the angle theta. And also notice that uh, tangent and cotangent, of course, they are reciprocals of one another. But uh, we'll just start by looking at this table. And you notice the table says memorize, all right? This is very important that we want to do this. But it is always the case that if we take the tangent of an angle, you'll get the same answer as if you took the sine of the same angle over the cosine of the same angle. Okay, And so what this basically says is, look, if you knew, say, sine and you knew cosine, you could find tangent. Or likewise, you know, you notice the difference between tangent and cotangent here is that we have cosine over sine, the reciprocals of one another. Uh, but if we knew cosine and we took that uh, cosine of an angle and divided by the sine of an angle, we get the same thing as the cotangent. I would say, for the most part, everybody just kind of needs to memorize this tangent one right here. Uh, but you notice it says because right here on the right. So we say sine of theta. Recall that from our definition of the trig functions, we'll just sketch this in here. If we had some angle in standard position, which means it leaves from the positive x-axis, so we had some angle, and then we had some point x, y on the terminal side, so we say this is the point x, comma y, then it necessarily follows that we could perform a right triangle out of this where the height of this triangle is y units, the width of the triangle is x units, and we get this from the point. We've been calling the hypotenuse r, where this is our angle theta. Okay, uh, But we say we can you know, find the sine of this by doing the opposite over the hypotenuse, or y over r. And so that's where we're deriving this from. Uh, and also we say, okay, well, over the cosine of theta, cosine of theta would be the adjacent over the hypotenuse here. Uh, but adjacent over hypotenuse would be length x over r, okay? And that would be this x over r here. What I would like to point out, uh, however, is this. We say y over r divided by x over r, you know? We'll do some fractional division here. y over r divided by x over r is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. We get y over r times r over x, and we end up with this, y over x, which I want to point this out, y over x, would be the same thing as the tangent of theta because the tangent, toa, opposite over adjacent, would be y over x. So basically, what we can say is this. Look, the tangent is always like y over x. And, you know, it's equal to sine over cosine. So it basically follows that if we knew the sine of an angle, like we know the sine of an angle here, sine of theta is negative 3 fifths, and the cosine of the same angle is 4 fifths, then what I want to do is I want to find tangent of theta. And this should say the cotangent of theta here. Uh, but let's go ahead and start by finding the tangent of theta. So we know using the identity, the tangent of theta is the sine of the same angle over the cosine of that very same angle. But you see, we know the sine of the angle. We say the sine of the angle uh, theta is negative 3 fifths from above, <clears throat> and the cosine of the angle is 4 fifths, also from above. And since we know this, we can just instead change this to multiplying by the reciprocal. So negative 3 fifths times, let's see, reciprocal of 4 fifths is 5 fourths. And we end up with our fives canceling out, and we get ones. But we say on top, we get negative three times one is negative three, and on bottom, we get one times four is our four. What this means is that the tangent of this angle, which was the sine divided by the cosine, comes out to be negative three-fourths. And so the nice thing about this is we don't actually need to go back and do the cotangent of this as being cosine over sine. We can just take our tangent result, and we can reciprocate it. So negative four-thirds. And recall that, yes, if you reciprocate a negative, you get a negative, and you reciprocate a positive, you get a positive. So this is the ratio identities. These are the ratio identities.